What's the time on the hickory dickory clock? Well, the long hand is pointing straight up, so it's something o'clock. And the short hand is pointing to the seven. So it's seven o'clock on the hickory dickory clock. Off goes the mouse and the cat. Run fast, mouse. Hello again, mouse. And underneath the clock, a house. The story today is called Come By Chance, and this is how it goes. Bertha was alone. She had walked and walked and was far from anywhere. At the top of the hill, she came upon a tumbled-down old house. She peered in. Then she pushed open the door and crept inside. She could see the house had been abandoned long ago. Bertha sat and rested her tired legs, but her mind wasn't resting at all. At last she smiled and set to work. She mended and patched, swept and scrubbed, then weeded and watered, until little by little she had made the house into a cosy home. She named it Come by chance, and nailed up a sign so everyone would know. Then, after gathering food and firewood, she settled in. Ah, having a cup of tea by the fire. One cold winter night, as Bertha sat by the fire, a storm began to rage. Moo! Moo! Oh, someone's at the door, huh, hoping to come in. The wind whistled and roared, and the windows rattled and shook. Meow, meow. Oh, Pussycat's at the window. Come in, Pussycat. Dark clouds gathered, then the rain teemed down. Oh, oh someone else. Hook, honk, honk, honk. In you come, Goose, out of the rain. Thunder rumbled and lightning flashed through the sky. Come by chance was the only shelter in sight. Crash! Boom! Lightning and thunder and all the animals running to the house. Animals arrived from everywhere. And look, a little turtle too. They were wet, frightened and trembling with cold. <sighs> Bertha welcomed them inside, and in no time at all, everyone had snuggled up by the warm fire. <laughs> there they are, all snuggling. As the snow began to fall, more and more animals found their way to the little house on the hill. Come by chance became so crowded, it was almost bursting. But Bertha left no one out in the cold. Everyone soon felt at home, and night after night, they all danced and sang, while Bertha played the flute. Tra la 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 la! <laughs> Bertha took special care of all her friends, and together the long winter passed. <laughs> Having a snooze. After a time, the sun began to shine and the snow melted. Flowers blossomed and the hills turned green. Bertha opened a window. Mmm, <gasps> the air smelt like honey. It was spring. It was time to part. Come again next winter, Bertha called, as one by one her friends disappeared down the hill. Ah, Bertha, all quiet again. But Bertha was not alone. She heard a familiar noise and found someone had decided to stay. Meow. <laughs> now, at the beginning of every winter, there is a great scuffle at the door and Bertha and her friend 
know that come by chance will once again be filled with music and laughter. <coughs> squeak, squeak. Oh, they all want to come in. There they are. And that's the end of the story.